They say, we like your product, yeah, but we have an offer that is much cheaper. We love your product, but will be really hard. Yeah. And I ask a very simple question to them. Yeah, will you buy from them? And they look at me at, and told, never. Hey, Andre, it's nice to see you again. Tell us about your experience in PV Market. Who are you? Uh, why are you here today with us? So uh, I'm pretty new, still feel pretty new in the PV market. Yeah, but uh, since 2016, yeah, I'm working with uh, with Solitech, uh, sales of uh, PV modules, yeah, all over the uh, the Europe. Yeah, I still remember the first day, so the first meetings when I started. You know, there was uh, one of the customers who was, uh, we held a meeting and uh, there were about 20 questions and I was not able to answer any of them. So you can imagine, uh, I've been there. Uh, so now, of course, when the time has passed, I have uh, an answer on, on those questions, but new questions arise. And uh, uh, that's why I'm really enjoying about the PV industry, that it's very dynamic, sometimes not stable, sometimes very too challenging or too challenging. Initially, I was working with uh, 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 mainly with the Scandinavian countries, and now expanded uh, expanded also to the Central Europe, mostly German-speaking part of the uh, of it. So Germany, Switzerland, Austria. Every market is different. You know, like uh, like when you come to to Norway, and you say, "Okay, we have good sales in Sweden," they will always tell you, "Okay, forget what you did in Sweden. Yeah, this is this is another world," and actually, it is. And it's the same with each and every country. It's really interesting, really, you know, motivating to meet new people, new companies. This is how you get more knowledge, more understanding, and uh, can share your experience from, you know, from, from different angles with the customer. So like, this is the good question. Should the uh, salesperson be a hunter or a farmer? What happens to the hunter if you... You know, we, if you are not lucky, if you don't get the, the meat today or the fish today, then you are, then you die. So I would say, yeah, uh, the um, salesperson should be the hunter that never gives up and uh, is not able is is not able to die. You know, is uh, is not ready for that. That's that's for sure. So salespeople are the core of, of the company. That's the, those are the ones who are bringing the business. The two things, yeah, being ready, uh, being ready to hear no. Or sometimes even going for for rejection uh, from the customer. Uh, it's okay. It's absolutely fine. That's a part. Uh, that's a part of our job. Same time as being motivated, energized, uh, being able to do uh, same routine each and every day, like a soldier. Yeah. So we are not hunters. We are, we are more like uh, soldiers. Both both bringing you know, both bringing business and like filtering. Uh, and understanding uh, what we do. So everything depends on the good salespeople in the company, I believe, and how business, yeah. how business is doing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and what I can add here, since we have, since um, yeah, our topic is is B two other B two B sales. Yeah, so you really yeah should be you know willing or uh, uh, open to to speak to people. Yeah, that uh, might sound uh, mm, might sound strange, of course, but. Uh, uh, it doesn't mean that introvert or, or extrovert is better sales than introvert. Definitely not, because I'm, I'm the the, the introvert myself uh, with a technical education, uh, mathematical grade in uh, traffic analysis, like master degree. So I was never considering myself to be to be a salesman. So back in the days, I told that this is the profession I will, I will not do for sure, never. So the the only profession I was not able to imagine myself. What we will speak about, yeah, about the market situation and the trends uh, in perspective of sales, you know, what it has been, you know, what is it now and uh, what can we expect uh, in the future? Yeah, for example, um, how the sales have changed over the years. Now the customer is much more educated. They know the brands, uh, they have a good association with the brand, good, uh, good cooperation history. They want to stick to that. Now it's a time of optimizing all your activity in 
for us as a salespeople, but uh, first of all for the customer, yeah, to um, to optimize your processes, how you do purchasing, how you negotiate, how much time you spend on that. So we will speak on that, how uh, how it has changed over the years, and you know how how we can break through again, how we can come closer to the customer. Second bigger part is uh, is a salesperson routine. To what you should include in your routine of everyday uh, sales. Yeah, because it's very important. During our course, we want to give you a structure. Uh, a structure, how you can establish your day, how you can plan it, meeting, calls, uh, uh, offers, uh, uh, planning visits. Uh, this is very important. So that's the soldier stuff. What we will speak about also the objections, how uh, yeah, how to handle the objections objections from the customers. Uh, and actually, uh, that's one part. Of course, we all have them each and every day. We are facing them, but uh, how to get through them and get to the next step, but also uh, how to prevent obje- objections. So normally objections are uh, half the reason or uh, some of them are not objections, but ex- excuses. And excuses are connected to lack of information from the customer about you, about your product, about your company. So in order to... Uh, eliminate part of those objections objections that are actually excuses you have to prepare you have to warm up uh, the customer to prepare them for for the meeting for the conversation uh, another part what we will discuss are the real stories so of course uh, it's always interesting to follow you know how you come to to particular to a particular result we will be open to hear your your real stories share them that are maybe in process and we can discuss what what could be the best outcome or the best reaction or activity from our side to proceed with that how to sell uh, more expensive or how to not reduce your price yeah from from my perspective yeah i was selling the premium uh, products all the time uh yeah uh, now now with solitech with the pv panels but also in in, uh, in my you know previous job as it depends a lot on the on the salespeople. Yeah, if you are just you know uh, is chasing the wild goose or getting want to get the customer who wants just cheaper price, okay, uh, maybe that's your business and you're good in that. That is absolutely fine. Then you are very effective and know how to do it. But what uh, we will speak about, yeah, how to sell premium product or sell more expensive, uh, and probably now. After our introduction, you, you you might have a clue that it will be connected to to establishing your brand, your personal brand, your company brand, and your product portfolio. You know, in the way that it's uh, that it gives additional value to the customer and gives more. And actually, it's always it will be always connected with the trust. If the customer trusts you, uh, and uh, then uh, then they will always be ready to pay more. For the salespeople, my my advice would be stay strong in these times for sure. You know because uh, it's a uh, it's a very hard uh, time for everyone, and uh, especially for the for the salespeople working on the forefront. So a lot depends on us. Be creative. Think, uh, especially now, what else you can do. What was working before is not is not working anymore now. Uh, speak more to the colleagues on the market. Share your experience. Understand the experience on the other of the others, and have a and have a success. Have uh, have the deals. Have the sales. That's for sure. See you in June.